four Mountain Summit Squad. Today's episode ranks the Xbox games best of the best all time. I'm your host, Kirk, and along with Andy, we're happy that you chose to hit the play button today. Get ready for an intense countdown where we reveal epic adventures, first-person shooters, and great family fun games. But that's not all. We got a few Benjamins. That's our honorable mentions that we couldn't pass up celebrating today. Join the squad today by leaving your top four Xbox games down below. So buckle up your game chair, grab your Xbox remote and a little Mountain Dew, because the Rushmore show starts right now. Welcome to the Rushmore Show, where it's all about your top four and nothing more. Kirk, Zoom into June has zoomed to the end. Here we are, and it's no surprise what we're talking about today, but we've got another great episode. We've got two, count them, two guests with us today. One of them has been returning for, I believe, third time, uh, and we've got a brand new friend. Well, he's been a friend for a minute, but he's first time on the Rushmore Show as a guest today. So it's going to be a great day. Obviously, we're going to talk about the Xbox. So, Kirk, what is that ancient artifact that you are holding right now? Well, this one particularly is a paperweight. Uh, this one has the red ring of death that uh, <laughs> needs to probably get tossed. But, uh, yeah, I but here's the cool thing. I replaced this one uh, just a few weeks back at the St. Tammany Collectors Con. And at the St. Tammany Collectors Con, not only did we meet a ton of our new friends watching, but we met one of our guest hosts this week. And uh, yeah, I'm excited because this is an old Xbox 360. And uh, at the Collectors Con, I was able to pick up another 360 for $18. Yes. And he was like, oh, the door might not work very well. Um, and I was like, I'll do it. The door works perfectly. It's sitting. Well, oh, you can't see it now. It's sitting right there. And uh, we were we were rocking some of my picks just yesterday. So, man, this is going to be awesome. What do we have for our friends today? Yeah, we have. We're ending it off with our top four Xbox games um, of all time, really. And uh, I'm not going to lie, man. And I'll talk about this probably throughout the episode. This one was a struggle for me. Everyone on the Rushmore show and the community knows how much of a Nintendo fanatic that I am. I'm all about Nintendo. Everything they do uh, essentially is gold. So in my opinion, uh, so, so Xbox is a little bit outside of my forte. However, I do appreciate it. I did play it. Um, so, so it's going to be a great day today. So, Hey, um, Look, if you are watching the show now and you haven't already done it, hit the subscribe bell, leave a comment. You know, once you find out what our top four are and you completely disagree with this, let us know about it. You know, there's there's a lot of agreement in these comments. Sometimes I like it when it gets a little spicy in there. You know, it gets a little, little feisty, you know, a little people got some opinions and it's good and everything. But um, subscribe, leave a comment, share this video with your friends who like Xbox. We just love having great conversation and great community together. So with all of that said, let's not waste any time. We don't want to get a red ring of death today. Let's get into our Rushmore of Xbox games. Let's get it. Rushmore show it is time for our xbox rushmore now here's the thing here's the thing about today uh i've got my controller ready because xbox one of the defining things about the xbox compared to what we did last week with playstation 2 is the controller and usually it's kind of like the what we often joke about the apple android it's the it's the same kind of idea uh, both controllers are fantastic. Some like one, some like the other. Me personally, P3 
PS2 is my George because this one to me is a worse controller. But a lot of people love this one much better. And, and it, it's just a it's a different kind of feel, right? But here's the thing. Because of our panel of guests today, a couple different ages, a couple different times that we've played. Some of us did play, didn't play, whatever. Me personally, I played first half. Uh, Andy didn't play really at all. Um, and our two guests, one, one man collects games. He's probably played all the new generation stuff. And the other one is my buddy from back in the day. So we'll, we're all from different spaces. We've decided today, Andy, that we are going to do a Rushmore of Xbox all generation games. So this is like a top four of anything that you've played on Xbox, which is, gives you a big uh, pool to pick from. So that is that is one thing that it makes this Rushmore pretty, uh, pretty interesting compared to last week. Mm -hmm. And uh, now here's the thing. We have my friend coming back, Baby Ox. If, if you guys know him from... Uh, Baby Ox 78 from TikTok, our toy collector extraordinaire. Welcome to the show, BJ Hines. What's up, BJ? What is going on? Look at that. Look at that. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, look at that great there. Custom, look at that there. Look at that. Great custom. Custom. It's got oh, yeah. like, that one doesn't get played. This is pretty much my current controller that I use while gaming now. Yeah, see, I, I need the yeah, weight of my tech. That looks like those phones back in the day that you would slide up and there's the keyboard under it, you know? <laughs> Andy, we have another guest. He gave me this flyer a couple of weeks back. Who, who, who's, who's, who else is coming on? Oh, you're rocking the STCC shirt. We met the guy there, uh, got connected with him, and now I've been invited to uh, Louisiana RetroCon coming up here in a, a couple months here. So we've got the uh, the man in charge of that whole ordeal right there. We've got our new friend, Davey Lusco. What is up, bro? How you What's doing? What's up, Davey? Welcome doing to the show. Good. Dude, well, doing good. It's great to be here, guys. I, I appreciate y'all right. having me on. Oh, he's got his awesome. Xbox going too, man. He's got a Series it X, now, man. Listen. Series X. Oh, look, Andy, Andy's playing it on the, on the phone. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. So, here's the thing. Uh, we we, 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 we want to hear what you guys uh, experience, I guess, with the Xbox and all that coming here in a second. But before we get started, Davey, I got to talk to you. Thank you for inviting us to be a part of the Louisiana RetroCon. We've been talking about it the last few weeks. Yeah. Can you give us like the minute and a half spiel of what this is going down over there in South Louisiana. Tell it, tell our viewers what that is. First off, tell us who you are and then tell us about the show. Sure. So look, it's my pleasure to have you guys coming. Uh, so I'm Davey Lusco. I uh, run the Louisiana retro con and also the Louisiana game collecting guild, which that's a free group to make new friends and meet new collectors and buy, sell and trade. And the convention basically sprouted off of that on September 3rd of last year. And we just basically made it into like, okay, here's the place where everybody can come buy, sell, and trade their retro video games and modern games. You know, we don't limit it to just retro. But the whole experience is supposed to be to come in, see stuff from other generations. We have a little section where people can come play free video games on an arcade section. So there's like something for everybody to do here. We're even trying to get tournaments going this time. So it'll be a lot of fun. Nice. nice. That is going to be a blast. And look, we were invited as uh, one of the tables to do some YouTube. And then hopefully we can go down there. And guys, we our plan is to try and get as many video game Rushmores as we can for you guys to see the show. Um, and man, we've met some other amazing people through that. The, we're going back to St. Tammany uh, Collectors Con in the fall. We're also going to do, uh, we've been invited to be a part of Nerd Swap with BJ. We've been a part of, we've also been asked to go to Coast Con down in South Mississippi. We've been asked to do a few other things in between. And so we're excited, man. Thank you for just inviting us and being part of that. Now, okay. BJ, BJ, bro, 
I know you love video games. That's all we did back in the day. What do you know about Xbox? Steel Dude. Steel what do you know Dude. about that? <laughs> what do you know about that? And why don't you start this mountain off and do your Rosie? Since you are, uh, you've you're, you've been on the show before. Let's let's start it off with you. Tell all us right. your criteria, what you were doing when you picked your top four games. And uh, let's get this thing rolling, man. We we, we got to get it going. Pretty much my criteria are games that I have pretty much probably over 100 gaming hours on. Um, if it was part of a big franchise, um, pretty much maybe an RPG, maybe an action game. You never know. Those pretty much are my criteria. And I'm starting off my Rosie with it's a pretty good franchise. I'm going with Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Nice. Great, great choice. Great choice, man. So we're talking about a game some... that was yeah. Uh came out in 2013. Um out of the 60 achievements, I got 48 of them, and I have over 150 hours of gameplay. What? And, wow. And as a matter of fact, um it's, yep, there you go. Gave up a little piece of skin <laughs> for the okay. game. And, it and, definitely has and, to be and, your Rushmore if it's going to move and, it as a tattoo. That's yeah, that's great. Yeah, it it. And and <laughs> ladies, if you're out looking, he is available to play Assassin's Creed with you. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Uh, I'm, I'm joking because of the message. Anyways, man, I love Assassin's Creed. Uh, let me tell you, I don't have a lot of experience with Assassin's Creed uh, Black Flag. Now, I, I, I know it. I, I've seen it. Um, I've watched people on Twitch play it. Um, but I did play the first few. And I played the one on my phone, too. So one, two, and then the one on my phone. And then... Uh, like beat all three of those, right? And then I, I just love this franchise. I love the uh, the idea of it. Now I love how Assassin's Creed is now traveling different like uh, times of 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 uh, like uh, of Earth, like pirates and and back in the old days and all that stuff. Man, I, I love I love the idea of the franchise. And man, that weapon is pretty dope. I, I really I, this is a good pick. I am going to tell you it is on my Benjamins kind of way down the list because I don't have so much experience with the newer ones. Um, but it is a phenomenal franchise to me. This is one of those God of war type games that I mentioned last week. And uh, it, it's just a really cool, cool. Once you get going and uh, it, yeah, great pick BJ. I think it's going to be experience. a common thread. It's going to be a common thread today that, that I don't have much to say. And I, I really don't want to be boring. Maybe there will be some games that I can have some input on. I, I didn't play this that much. I will say what I know of it, what I've seen of it, in the in the same kind of line of God of War, kind of like you said, just like a visually a pleasing looking game. You know what I mean? Like it's just one of those ones that I just like watching gameplay of it, just because it looks so great. So, but outside of that, I mean, yeah, I don't know what else to add. So I will defer to to, to our Xbox expert here. Uh, all of you guys, but uh, Davey, what's, what's your thoughts on Assassin's Creed? I mean, I think Assassin's Creed's super fun. I haven't like really played a lot of the games, but I really do love Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, I played a lot of it on my Nintendo Switch in handheld and in dock mode, so that was really fun. Played it on the 360 back in the day. Uh, 360 is like my favorite Xbox, by the way. That's like the only one that I click with and remember everything about because I'm also a Nintendo guy, Drew. So I totally understand, man. It's like, yeah, it's, it's hard to think of some stuff. Sometimes. But yeah, I like this Assassin's Creed. That's a great pick, man. All right, Davey, welcome to the show. Uh, I, I, I know you've watched a few. First off is Rosie. That is for Roosevelt. We consider him number four on the mountain. <laughs> Why we get that option is, is that. But uh, Rosie, who's your number four? But before that, tell us kind of what you were thinking when you're putting this together. You did mention to us, you're like, man, this is harder than I expected. And that is a common theme, especially from new guests. So uh, yeah. what, 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 where are you going? Well, I'm trying to kind of like pick, I would say, what would be my top number one for each Xbox generation, since there's four different generations of Xbox available to us now. Because for me, it's just too hard to pick like 
top four for just one console because there's so many great games on Xbox. Like literally the 360 library, I think it's about 2,000 games. It's like, <laughs> how do you pick for these? <laughs> That's insane. I try to defer the ones that I've probably played with the most and the ones that I've treasured and loved the most, basically. Well, I'm going to start with the current generation of Xbox, which is the Series X. This was the hardest one for me to decide on because there's not a lot of like new ones that are made tailored for the new xbox so and i haven't really bought a lot of new gen games because i'm more of retro style games but i decided to go with uh for my rosy sonic frontiers for the xbox series x okay. i'm a big fan of like i watched y'all gamecube episode and i'm glad y'all mentioned sonic adventure because the sonic adventure one and two that's like one of my favorite series and i wish they would have brought that back this game in my opinion, besides the bugs, felt like the closest thing that we've received, like since those early two thousands games. Like the, it, it, once they fixed a lot of patches, it actually felt really smooth on Series X. So I was impressed with it. I have literally zero to say except I love Sonic games. Um, one of my criteria that I'm going to get to, and I'll just kind of jump the gun with, with that portion of it, is I have never played a Xbox One or Xbox. Uh, with the X series. So I've never played either one of those generations. And so all my games are 360 or earlier. Um, but I can appreciate that franchise. I mean, it, it, it's it's a banger. So uh, Andy? Yeah, I, I would, I'll just say, I mean, when you're going to, going back to last year when we talk about um, video game characters and Paul came on dressed like Link, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog has got to be I don't even remember what we picked, but he is mentioned up there with the Mario's, with the Pac-Man's, with the, you know, like those just iconic, classic Speaking ones. of Pac-Man. Yeah, I said Pac-Man because it's playing behind you right Love now. Love it. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I haven't played this specific game, played a whole bunch of Sonic, so I can imagine that it's a, that it's a, it's got to be a great one, man, for sure. Uh, now, BJ, you, you played this one yet? This is new, right? No, I haven't played that. Uh, tell you the truth. Uh, classic Sonic is all I played. Sorry. No, I get it. Man. Well, uh, dude, this is a great pick in in the idea that um, one, you chose a franchise that I know a lot of people are going to like, but two, um, it it kind of expands my my pick my expands my knowledge towards the next, and and I I mean I don't really know it too much. Uh, I do know that it is fascinating to watch. I mean, like the engine that puts those graphics together, just mind blowing. So, man, great, great pick, great start. Now, look, I'm going to jump into mine. And uh, look, I kind of teased um, both of mine are going to be either Xbox or Xbox 360. Um, I have both of those systems um, and I, I enjoy several games. But I have mentioned, obviously, they didn't make my top four in the consoles. So Xbox isn't, and, and it didn't make anybody's top four in the consoles, to be honest, Xbox. But it is, uh, it is a big, it is a big uh, franchise for, for for video games, and a lot of people love it. So here's the show for you guys. Now um, I'm going to pick games that I own all my games. Now I don't have a lot of experience with Xbox, so I tried to pick my favorite ones that I have that I've played. Um, I didn't play that many like at people's houses or whatever or emulators i've watched i've watched a lot of gameplay on these games uh, or other games but these are these are going to go back now look i'm going to probably shock the masses i'm probably going to shock everybody out there with some of my picks but my first pick is going to be definitely shocking not that it's on the mountain but that it's rosy right and i'm going with what kicked off xbox mm. i'm going with the original Halo. Yeah. Um, this this game right here, pretty much, uh, and in right here in the, on my particular copy says Game of the Year version, um, and and it says Game of the Year IGN.com 2002, Xbox Magazine. Uh, you know, it's got a bunch of different awards, but this game right here is what basically blew up the first person shooter genre. Right. We went back. We go back and we talk about. Um, we go back and talk about Bond back in the 64, right? The Nintendo 64, and we're talking about that kind of started it, 
But this is like almost what perfected it, that those those online rooms and all of that. And I remember the craze for the original Xbox. Uh, I was in the Air Force at the time and people were just like foaming at the mouth trying to get to the doors when these things dropped. Um, it was I, and I, I didn't I didn't understand it because I would I did not purchase mine until later. One of the reasons was because of the craze. I was like, I've already got my PlayStation. I'm playing the games I want to play. You guys can deal with that. That, to be honest, is one of the reasons I think I'm pretty bad at first person shooters. Uh-huh. Like everybody jumped on everybody jumped on that thing way early. I came in way late in the game, and I just am not great. Um, but uh, the, here, here's here's that here's Halo. Halo has become a huge franchise. It's got a it's got a couple other things like you know the television show. It's been got Halo Two. It's got and it, it, all the way it, he has Master Chief has basically become Xbox's you know uh, mascot, if you will. Um, my my ways for about five months was Master Chief telling me where to go, um, just because I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, it, it, it's awesome. I mean, Master Chief is is a great Halloween costume. He's a bad dude, man. And uh, the series, if you have watched the series, is pretty awesome. But yeah, it, it it's probably gonna shock a lot of people that it's so low because it is one of the best Xbox games ever. And so I had to put it on the mountain, but it's not my favorite because I'm terrible at it. I am just really <laughs> terrible at it. And I got I, I've got other Halos, by the way, and I'm terrible at all of them. So there's my Rosie. I like this pick, man. Uh, this you kind of touched on it. Master Chief is is essentially maybe maybe this is a hot take, but it's like the Mario of Xbox. You know what I mean? Like it's like that. Yeah. Uh, just he's the character that you think when you think Xbox. At least me. And again, I'm not super knowledgeable about Xbox, um, but definitely early on. What'd you say? Like you're what 2002, 2001, whenever this came out. So this is yeah. This is a good time in my life right there. So I, I I do appreciate this pick, man. Great. You can't have this mountain without having that on there. What you guys think about Halo? I absolutely agree that I would consider that. <laughs> well, and another analogy, like the Mickey Mouse yeah. of Xbox, because the Series X, when it first launched, the back of the box shows a teaser for the new Halo Infinite. Like, it just was the thing. I, I Look, when I think of it, I think of Master Chief. Like, I've got right here one of them little cable guy buddy things with a special edition ps3 controller the same color but i love master chief i love halo uh growing up with the 360 you know that was some of the best games and i agree that i find it really did define fps games so quickly let me just jump in and and tell you 6.4 million copies sold is the estimate uh the company's bungee master chief Cortana, Captain Keys, or some of the guys, and this this particular one, I, I you know, it blows up the first person shooter. Here's a fun fact: Halo revolutionized the console shooters established by Xbox, um, and it, it is a compelling sci-fi universe, intense multiplayer gameplay. That's the deal right there. That multiplayer gameplay that uh, in in that setting just kind of, I remember that 2002 kid. Right. And, and it, it, it it's what made Microsoft uh, in the in the game, if you will. So uh, I love this. BJ, you a Halo guy? I mean, you're Xbox guy. Oh, you're a Halo I mean, guy. You know, I got I got a couple of figures of, you know, Halo. Uh, OK, OK. So cool. I, re- I remember so cool. one time in Las Vegas, we basically had a Halo not a tournament. We were playing Halo against each other, and it's the guys on the upper floor ran a cable down to the second floor, and we are just playing against each other like that. So I mean, yeah, I play. I'm not good at it, <laughs> just like you, but I have played it. it. It's a great series, and I mean, it, Master Chief, like you said, that, that is Xbox. All right, Andy. Well, finish off your Rosie, dude. Yeah, man. So um, I, I already said it. I not an Xbox guy. I mean, definitely the other systems, even the PS2, definitely was a big fan of that as well. But with that said, my neighbor, who I actually talked about in the GameCube episode, 
Um, the guy whose house I went to and played Sims on the GameCube. Yes, I played Sims on GameCube, and it made my mountain. Oh, well. Um, he also had an Xbox, and I remember playing many of these games there. Um, actually, it was his little brother had the Xbox, so I would play it with him. Uh, and then actually, even in college, my the guitarist in my band at the time, he was he lived right across the street from us. And they had an Xbox. So I never personally owned one, but I did. I was friends with people who had them. And if you're friends with somebody who's got a video game system, you're going to play it once or twice, right? So I've played enough. So my criteria really are games that I played in either one of those two settings. Um, I, I vividly remember playing these games. And I'm going to start off mine um, in a... It's not really a crush more, but it's sort of a crush more with a character that was already mentioned today. I'm going to go to the year 2003 and we're going to Sonic Heroes. Sonic Heroes is my Rosie. Now, my friend had this game, 3D platformer. It's just a really cool thing here. I like how you could switch between, or you got three on your team. You've got Knuckles, you've got Tails, you've got Sonic, and you're, you know, different ones do different things throughout that. And you kind of got to switch with, you know, between them throughout. Um, I love how they kept, you know, the classic levels, but, you know, obviously like the, it changed up a little bit with having, you know, Emerald city or whatever. And then also having the well, bingo, the casino, whatever place. And anyway, all of that stuff is super cool. Um, just a really fun game, man. And again, similar things I said about Sonic, about your pick earlier, Davey, this is one of those iconic characters, dude, here's the other thing, the music in Sonic games, are some of my favorite music that that's played anywhere, man. It's just, it's memorable. Um, you know, Dr. Robotnik, all of these awesome things. So yeah. So I'm going to go with my Rosie. I played this a lot. Um, basically it's like a race. You're kind of like running through this course as you would in Sonic games. Right. But again, it's just changed to this whole 3d format too. So Sonic heroes, 2003, this is, this is, I'm starting high school time roughly, you know, this is, about freshman year or so. So this is where I was at. And uh, that's my Rosie, man. Sonic Heroes. Did you guys, it, it, yes. Uh, yeah. So a copy? Uh, I have a Sonic Heroes uh, and I thought it was on this, but I have Sonic Heroes on the, the, uh, the switch. I believe, I believe that's the copy of Sonic Heroes I've got, but um, on the Xbox 360, I do have their original release of the new Sonic the Hedgehog. Since both of you guys mentioned it, I do have that game. Um, and this is pretty dope, man. It is the, the 3D. It's a little different than, you know, than the original Sonic that we all remember. It's got some of the extra characters. It's a pretty cool game. Um, and, it, and it's fun. It, it's fun for the... It, yeah, I read this right here. Platinum Family Hits. This is a fun game that almost anybody can play, too. Like, it's not... It, like, you don't get bogged down with controllers and stuff like that it's a good game man yeah didn't play that <laughs> so no okay, okay oh well there you go okay <laughs> so i lied i have sonic forces and sonic colors i thought i had sonic heroes but yeah there's a thousand sonic games nice. dude. it's crazy yeah there's a lot there's so many so I mean, regarding the music for that game uh Crush 40 is probably my favorite Sonic band, and that's the ones that did Sonic Heroes and the Adventure Series game. Like, I just feel like nobody has topped their peak. They are like the Rushmore peak of Sonic <laughs> bands. <laughs> like, you know, there you go. Hey, <laughs> what is it? Now, you're talking about you talking about bands. You're right in Andy's Aunt Royal House, man. He sent he sends me Spotify links all the time of weird stuff. So that today's today's was fun, man. Today's today sent me was fun. Hey, so that's the that's our that's our Rosie, man. So two Sonic games. That's surprising. Master Chief shows up. I mean, we've got we've got a lot of things going. Uh, and and obviously Assassin's Creed. Those are good picks. Now it's time to jump into what we call TJ Jazzy Jeff, which is Thomas Jefferson. BJ, it is your turn to kick off your number three on the mountain, and let's keep climbing up to the peak. Here we go. Yes, sir. Now, this game came out in 2012, 2012 and basically went on the 360 and got remastered to the Xbox One. It was from Big Q's Games. They developed it, and 38 Studios and EA published it. Said Todd McFarlane was the artist. 
in the game, and I'm probably going to butcher his name. R.A. Salvatore was a author for the characters and the backstory for this game. T.J. Jazzy Jeff is Kingdom's Armor Armor Lure re reckoned <clears throat> I out of 61 achievements, I got 60. I have over 300 hours of gameplay on this one game. I have two playthroughs and I have made five characters. And a funny note about this after a million units of this game being sold, the company went bankrupt. I declare bankruptcy! What? <laughs> That, that's crazy. Hey, so I'm going to tell you, uh, this is a game I've only seen. I've seen it, uh, you know, at the store. I've seen it, whatever. I have not played it. I haven't even seen any footage of this game. Um, but I heard, you know, I, 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 I see the hype. You know, I see the different um, in, in the, you know, on social media and things and Twitch. There's somebody's always playing it or whatever. Uh, but but I, I, I imagine this game is pretty awesome. I've seen like still shots. But uh, I have I'm this is one of those times I am uh, uh, just have a huge blind spot right here. So I'm Googling it right now. I don't know about this game. So I, I feel so bad in this episode. Like I'm like I'm being boring. Well, once, once he said 2012, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to probably know this. So, so I'm like, Come on, pick one. I got married in 2012. Video games were pretty much wrapping up at that moment for me uh, so so yeah. yeah let me let me that's a good point at 2012 i had just gotten sober just gotten my life back together if i would have went back to video games i might have got a, a divorce because i mean we really uh pushed that and that was one of that probably in 2012 was about the time i started selling off some of my games which i is one of my biggest regrets now is missing half of my games but uh davy i saw your face when he said it and he showed it um this is a game I think you know or like, right? I mean, I saw your face. You kind of was cheering him on. It's a game that I've been dying to try. It's also one that's very foreign to me. It's just the fact that in my head, like literally before he said it, when he said a remaster from a 2012 game on the Xbox One, you know, I'm like, there's not been that that many, you know, I, was, I don't know why. I was thinking a non-Xbox exclusive title. And that was just the game that was resonating in my head. I've heard nothing but positive about this game. I've heard if you like action RPGs, you like Skyrim type games, it's like similar to Elder Scrolls in certain ways and similar to, I guess, Dark Souls in other ways. But I, I've never played it. I actually have the remaster and the original. So I'm bad for that. I actually need to try and play it one day when I get some time after doing this con stuff. So. That's my answer. But I just was excited that my guess in my head was like, oh, yeah, it's, it's what he picked. <laughs> good pick. I I mean, I guess it's a good pick. It looks cool. It's another one. I feel like Assassin's Creed, I, the only thing I could add was that visually it looks good. I'm scrolling through pictures and visually stunning. That's what I'll say about this game. Visually stunning. That is an amazing uh, pick. I'm going to have to look that one up, uh, BJ. So, Davey, we're going to throw it to you. TJ Jazzy Jeff, Thomas Jefferson, number three on the mountain. Where are you going? So, last one, you, you pulled off Sonic. Where's the next part of your mountain? So, I'm going to go, like I said, one for each Xbox generation. For the next ranking, I'd probably have to go all the way back to the original Xbox, and then we'll make our way back up again. Uh, I would have to say Halo 2. I would probably say Halo 2, actually, instead of Combat Evolved. Yeah, I I, I love Halo 2. Uh, when I used to do little Let's Play videos on my YouTube when I was using the camcorder instead of a... And YouTube's dead. The YouTube I use is dead now, but I have a camcorder. I'd be recording the screen up there, and we had, like, Halo 2 playing. And I don't know. It just was really fun. I never got to experience the multiplayer before they turned it down, but I loved the campaign. I just feel like it's still a pretty decently solid game to hold up to today. Story's great, characters great, combat's great. I I, I really enjoy it. There's yeah. not much I can so, just say, but it. it's just great. <laughs> hey, uh, if, if you're if you need a two month free trial, I, I've got it right here. 
that's not. Oh. I actually need. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it still works. So, yeah. It still works. Yeah. 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 Uh, so <laughs> Xbox. Yeah. Xbox Live was was a big deal, man. That's what made Xbox cool. But yeah, Halo Two. Let me just tell you, Halo Two is a better Halo game, and they progressively get better. Um. Uh. I again, I didn't pick this franchise because um it's I'm, I'm amazing at or i'm really good or it's fun uh, i picked it because it's just a uh, it, it's it's a franchise that needs to be mentioned and i picked the one that meant the most to me this game yeah, is pretty awesome though it is tremendous and i had it sitting here in case i was going to use it for a benjamin but i almost guaranteed this one was getting picked so, so great pick man i mean same thing with the Halo one. This just improved everything, man. It improved everything, improved the story, improved the graphics, improved the multiplayer, yada, yada, yada. And then all the other ones kind of jump into the next generation of systems. So they progressively get better looking. So, yeah, good pick, good pick. I didn't play this one as much, man. Um, but I did a little bit. So, I mean, everything you're saying, absolutely. Um We've we've talked about Master Chief, so I mean this is a this is a great game. This is they know what they're doing. There's a reason that this franchise has continued as long as it has. We'll say that so they they know what's up. So, BJ, any thoughts on Halo Two specifically? Uh, to tell you the truth, I believe this was the last Halo game I played. Wow! <laughs> yeah, wow. really. <laughs> Wow. Well, I hope nobody so look, comes over to my TikTok and you know just butchers me and everything. I'm sorry. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I, I, don't I feel like mostly for, uh, first person shooters. I'm sorry. Yeah. So I can remember this. Yeah, I can remember this. So uh, one of the reasons I, I BJ on was uh, we were both stationed in Cannon Air Force Base in New Mexico, and uh, I then went to the uh, to Keesler. And when I went off to Keesler at Keesler is when all, all this stuff started happening. So the Xbox came out a little bit after I left hanging out with you, but I remember playing back in the day with you, BJ was a bunch of wrestling games. We played a ton of fighting wrestling games and that was kind of where we were at, uh, 64 and all that stuff. So I, I'm not surprised that this isn't, isn't in your wheelhouse because that wasn't normally the type of games you were actually playing. If I remember back in the day, but man, I'm going to jump in. Look, Master Chief's been mentioned twice. Sonic's been mentioned twice. Um, I'm going to mention a new guy, but again, I'm going to tell you, if we're talking about Xbox um, mascots, if you will, this guy's right, right up there, or, or this game is right up there. Um, this is, a, this is a, a pretty phenomenal game, and I was actually pulling up some of the stats that I had. Um, this also is a game of the year edition, which is weird to me because I don't think this was game of the year. I, I might be off, uh, but I, I don't know who said it was game of the year, but I'm going to go with another franchise. Um, let me tell you a little, a couple of the stats here. This is released in 2009, October, 2009. Xbox 360, 6 million copies worldwide. Name of the company, Gearbox. I'm going with none other than Borderlands. Dude, when I'm talking about first-person shooters and things of that nature, action RPG, all these kind of things, like just cool storylines, this game blew my mind. I absolutely love this game. I felt like I was playing... Uh, uh, Mad Max or, or something similar to that, like in the Thunderdome, but the story is so cool. The characters are phenomenal. The, uh, I, 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 I love the fact that I haven't played a lot of these games back in the day. So like all of these posters and stuff look, feel like they are untouched. Like, but this game is awesome. Matter of fact, uh, if you give me two seconds, my mouse pad, check it out. It's from Borderlands, right? Mm -hmm. From Loot Crate. Dude, uh, but I love I love Borderlands as a um, as a franchise. It's fun. Um, it is one that I kind of forced myself to kind of learn how to do. Uh, you know that first person shooter. You could pull three person, uh, third person, if you will, um, which is usually what I try and do in all those type of games. Try and go to that view, but just a really cool game. As you can see, game of the year copy edition. But uh, it's just really cool. And oh, by the way, we mentioned it last week in in, in uh, PlayStation. Um, mature audience, right? 
my my other game uh i'm pretty sure uh halo yeah mature audience i have one more mature audience coming up <laughs> even on my list so three out of my four for xbox was mature audience and that is another reason i'm not necessarily an xbox fan all of their really good games weren't necessarily to me family oriented it's not something i'm uh, consistently maybe play with canon right um these are ones that i'm usually going to play by myself which is not something I'm going to play that often. Um, but yeah, I love this game. You guys familiar with Borderlands? Shocking to me that you would pick two first-person shooters as your first two off the board here. I'm so, so and, and look, that's another point. That's another point. This is one of the reasons Xbox isn't my jam. I think they are the masters of the first-person shooter. Yeah, sure. There yeah. are so many good ones, and Assassin's Creed is is kind of in that realm. Um, but so I mean, it's just they're awesome at it, and that's what made them a lot of money. I, I mean, it did. So yeah, I will say this: I didn't play this much, but I did play it. My my friend did have this game or rented it. Maybe I don't know. Um, one thing I do remember about it is the animation's really cool. Like, yes. there's almost kind of like comic-y looking like thick line borders on that i don't know yes really it's i don't know what is it cell shading i don't know what it is technically but it's just a style that style is yes it's very awesome it's kind of like uh what's that what's that keanu reeves movie johnny mnemonic it's kind of like some of that kind of stuff yeah so i do remember that part being cool but other than that man i mean as far as first person shooter like this is a this is a cool one man um, I like it. Yeah. The whole Mad Max feel, this post-apocalyptic kind of the whole ordeal. So yeah, really cool game. Really cool game. I, uh, I'm glad I can finally chime in, even though it's a little bit, but I can chime in some about this game. I've actually never played the first game. That's, that's a fun fact. I've never played the first one, but I've had a few fun little segments of playing with friends online on Steam. Uh, I've not played it on Xbox, but I have it on my Steam profile on PC, and we did a few little fun runs on that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it was really short times I played it, but it was fun. It was fun. Now, now Andy, I do want to say this. It is a first-person shooter, but there are a lot, a, a lot of role-playing elements in this game. You know, like the the way that you level up and get your characters and yeah. and do all those yeah there's a lot of role playing elements so that's one of the reasons I kind of draw to this one more so yeah. than even Halo. DJ, did you play Borderlands? No, I never played any of the games. Uh, my brothers, Split Lager and Nike, they actually played those games and they have nothing but good things to say about. Them. All right, man. So Andy, jump in, man. Let's 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 finish our first half of the mountain with style and grace, man. Let's go. Here we go. We're going to go. I'm going to move one off of my Rushmore in, in real time right now and bring up Uh-oh. bringing in a ringer. I'm bringing in one of my, my, my uh, you, you called in the lefty, bring in the lefty. I'm subbing it out <laughs> um, because honestly, like this game, I don't know why it blanked like i totally like when i was thinking xbox like i didn't think this one and then i i'll go to google and i'll just like because i want to think about my list beforehand without using any resources and then i'll go and be like oh i forgot on that one and this was one of those so this was like pre-filming right before filming this one came up and uh it's a fighter game okay so i'm gonna go with a fighting game and uh i just remember like before this game out this just knowing about this concept i was like Yes, this is so cool. Um, It's kind of dark, but I'm going to go with Injustice. Injustice, first one. So what, God's Among Us or whatever it's called. Injustice was really, really cool. And I like this idea of the whole Justice League, but it's like a fighting game. So it's not like... I'm not like doing a mission in a story mode necessarily. It's just, it's, it's just a fighter game. The graphics were really cool. I remember that kind of stuff. I remember it being kind of a dark, kind of along those lines of sort of a mortal Kombat feel type game. And um, this was a game that um, Brett, he's our, the guitarist that was in my band that I mentioned before that lived across the street. I would go over there and we would play this so much. Now, like you, Kirk, with the one per with the with the first person shooter, I'm not fantastic at these games. I I, I tend to resort to the button mashing. Um, I've always been that way. I mean, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, 
it, it, it's just kind of like, come on, jump. What are you get doing? Um, I, I do that more so than like learn all these moves and stuff. But even in that, I can enjoy the game. It's fun. It's another just I, I, and here's the thing. I've, I won't talk about Nintendo much. We all know that I love it. But one thing that, you know, progressively as we go through these, like I love the N64. It's what I'm collecting right now. But I'm I'm back playing it again, and the graphics don't really hold up. There, I mean, you know, granted for the time, you know, it was good, but as we progress through these, like they're just gonna look better, right? I mean, that's just what's gonna naturally happen. And and this is one of those games. A lot of these Xbox games are like that. Um, man, playing as the Joker in this is super cool. Like, just all of these, the Flash, you know, I mean, uh, there's just great characters, like finishing moves and different cutscenes of how it looks. Again, kind of along those lines of Mortal Kombat. Anyway, Injustice, God's Among Us, that's that's going to be my TJ Jazzy Jeff. You guys like this? I, yeah. I saw you kind of gasped a little bit. You this like is it? a phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, I love this pick. I love this pick. I have played this one. I don't own this one. This is one that, uh, um, honestly... <laughs> If I'm being if I'm being honest, I think I rented this one I, 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 before Blockbuster and all. That. I think that might have been where this one came from. But uh, yeah, this is a cool game, and you brought up a couple of good points. One, um, button mashing. My favorite characters always. My favorite characters always in fighting games are the ones that if you hit one button fast enough, it doesn't move. Right. Like, so your Blancas and your E Hondas, your Chun Lees, that type of thing. But, but even if they don't have one of those moves, I'm always trying to find the guy that just has the half circle up or back or forward back because the, 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 the people that can do these patterns on, uh, uh, a, a controller and just pull off multi level. 15 20 30 i remember killer instinct you get like 70 hit combos and all, all the different things you had to do is why um fighting games are hard so but again this goes back to what i was saying i can learn the moves and fight the computer but it, it, all that goes out the window when you're playing another person yeah, and if yeah, you're playing yeah. another person and it's also not a bus- button masher type person or someone that's just going to kind of do the same similar things I, I get destroyed i get destroyed because i am i'm just not i, I guess uh flexible enough to pull off some of those moves like i could never knew that i could never do the zanjeev move where you had to go like all the way around and my finger just would never do it and so um anyways but Injustice is cool. I love the uh, the idea that they used um, DC characters. And you mentioned Joker. Joker's awesome. He's one of my weight reasons I he's on my, my bad guy list, dude. He's such a great guy. Just a great character, man. Looking through this, this so, character list, the, the choices, man. You've got to the Joker, Superman. Shazam! Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman was really cool in this. Harley Quinn, Catwoman, Green Arrow. You could be Bane. Dude, there's just like Nightwing. Like the Flash, mm-hmm. I said before, Dark Sea, Green Lantern. Dude, they're so, I'm curious. You just pulled somebody off. Uh, yeah, you just pulled somebody off. So that's going to be your number. Mm, okay. It, the, it, it, it'll be there. But there's gamesmanship later. So it, it, there's a chance that it just doesn't get mentioned. You know, I don't know. We'll see. So BJ and Davey, you guys, DC guys, you're fighting game guys, you're injustice guys. What you got? Yeah. Um, this game right here, um, I got it on the 360 and on the the one um i got the second game i bought the movie read the comic <laughs> the story. so you uh, like this back you like yeah, this yeah. I, I, I love this game um pretty much one of the things i also enjoy the game is if you basically knock the guy against the wall hard enough he'll like transition to another stage yeah and then if you do the same thing uh you know transition to another stage and then if you do it again they'll transition back to the original stage i I really like that the special moves uh and even the fact that nether realm who did mortal kombat basically did this right it's very mortal kombat some of the mortal kombat characters in the game (laughs) Well, I was going to say, this is yet another game that I'm, like, 
slightly blind to. Oh. I know of it. I love the story behind it because I've looked into how like the Joker goes nuts and Superman wants to like basically kill him because of what he did to his family or something like this. Some kind of crazy storyline, which is really cool. Uh, if somebody watching hasn't gotten into it, you need to just at least look at the lore because the lore is cool. But I need to play the game because I was looking at my game eye app here and I've got like about five or six different versions of the game across the <laughs> so, Yeah, I got it. for Wii U, Xbox 360, the PS3 version. So, so yeah. fun fact, fun fact, how many games do you have? I had to guess it's like right under or above 4,000. physically yeah yeah because every single day let me tell you uh rushmore show follow this guy dave's gaming galaxy follow this dude online at the louisiana retrocom follow him at the louisiana trading spots all the different every single day look at my local pickup and it's like 15 games Right. Look at my local pickup. I'm like, bro, how are you not running out of money? Like, you I'm like, <laughs> something. Did you post it, or maybe it was just posted on the page? Maybe it was somebody else. But it was like, I went to Goodwill today and I found this. I've never once in my life been to a Goodwill and said, "That's an amazing pickup." Like, look at this. <laughs> I've, I, I literally went the other day and like, let me see if I can. If I just haven't been yeah. looking at the right spot, they're nowhere. It's like V R <laughs> and like, and like it's like V like there's a- I can proudly like I can proudly tell you, Drew, that it's like never me because I'm the same guy. I'm like always like, how the heck are y'all finding this stuff? Like somebody in my town got a watermelon red Nintendo 64 controller from my Goodwill. I never find that stuff. I have like I've got people that contact me and say, hey, I got a lot. Uh, come look at it. And we'll make a deal. That, that's how I find my stuff. Right. I actually don't hardly go to thrift stores anymore. So, man, I, I'll just say this, and, and I, I watch a lot of secondhand YouTubers where they are, you know, resellers. And, man, some of the stuff that they find at garage sales and Goodwills, it blows my mind. It makes me want to quit my job and just start selling stuff online because I'm like, if they can do it, I can do it. But I keep watching. It's so fascinating, but I'm so, like, nervous. Like, I'm like, I cannot live my life doing that. Like, it's such a – yeah, anyways – um, but you guys follow Dave. If you if you're a video game guy, follow him, and uh, he he'll probably fill many of your old retro gaming needs. But hey, we are halfway through our mountain, Andy, and it is time for an Xbox commercial. So, uh, Rushmore Show, don't go anywhere. We're finished off the top half of our mountain. Right when we come back. more show where it's all about your top four and nothing more what a great xbox commercial it brings back all the nostalgia from 2000 2001 2002 it's time to build our second half of the mountain but before we do that if you guys are hanging around here and spending your time with us already it doesn't take much to just go and hit the like button put down in below your top four xbox style games whether it's xbox 360 xbox one xbox the x series go ahead and give us what your top four is we're never gonna have them all exactly right but if you have a better pick by all means enlighten us and the way to do that is down in the comments but if you uh spend some time with us we have honorable mentions that are coming up later and we will probably excite you with some of those picks bj you're up now 
and it is time to build the second half of the mountain. You got two more picks for your Rushmore. This one is Link. So where are we going? All right, for my Link, 2014 is Xbox 360 game with to the Xbox One. Uh, developers are Bioware, and the publishers are EA. I got. 462 hours on this game. <laughs> out of 69 whoa, achievements. Whoa. Out of 69 achievements, I got 61. Freddie Prince Jr. actually did a voice for one of the characters, and Brian Bloom also did a voice for one of the characters in this game. The game is Dragon Age Inquisition. Wow. 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 Yeah. Another. Another, this is right in the same month. An RPG, yep. Mm -hmm. But I have so, uh, slayed over 27,000 enemies and made over 22 million gold in this game. <laughs> wow, wow. Now, I love these style games. And I, I, I mean, I haven't played this one. I know this game very, very well. Um, uh, I... Again, I follow a lot of different YouTubers, especially a lot of video game guys. Um, I spend a lot of time just kind of in my free time just watching those guys do their thing. And there is a guy who spends a lot of time playing role-playing games similar to this. And, and Davey, you mentioned Skyrim earlier, and I think that's what actually got me connected with those kind of... But uh, he was playing this game, and he probably has just as many hours, if not more. It's insane how many hours you in the the world, the vast world, and the open world, and all that kind of. It's that's what I love about role playing games, and it's what Andy hates about them is there is no like ending, right? You could I could go and pick up a game that I thought I beat and spend another four hundred hours on it just by doing side quests and things and kind of hanging out with your character. And I love that. Um, and I, I really, really welcome those kind of games. Here's another tidbit. And that's out of eight characters, even though I have 462 hours on the game, I have yet to beat it. Oh, see, wait, <laughs> Andy, how do you feel about playing 500-ish hours and never beating the game? It's why do it? Well, I mean, I, I, just, I don't know, man. I don't know this game specifically. So, again, I'm looking at pictures. It looks cool and all. But, bro, listen, there's games that I play for the N64 that I feel like are a little too long. Like, and they're, they're nowhere near that. And it's like, ah, I, want, I want to complete it. I want it to be challenging. I want, you know, I want to have to take time. Like, dude, I was talking about, and again, N64, okay, I'm just bringing it up. Like, I literally, I bought Star Fox 64, and I beat it in, like, hour and a half. You know what I mean? Like, maybe. Like, it, it wasn't even that long. Like, I beat Now, gr granted, that's just the main course, and now you can take a bunch of different ways. But, but I beat the game, the final boss, in an hour and a half. You know, like, in these ones, it's, like, 500 hours, and I still have stuff to do? Like, there's more games that are being created by the time I'm done playing that I want to play now, and I lose my interest. I don't know. I, that's just me. And, but, again, I, I, it's well documented. When it comes to RPGs, it's just not It's not my thing, man. I Like, outside of, like, Pokemon Red and Blue on the Game Boy, <laughs> you know, I, I'm not really big, I'm big on the RPGs. And I know that's kind of a... Not a very popular thing to say. I get that it's a huge industry for RPGs. I just never was super excited about it. I got to, like, interject and actually agree with that. Like, I like some of the, like, action role-playing games, like Skyrim to an extent, but I like an ending like you like, Andrew. I absolutely agree. Uh, I was born and bred on, like, Mario and yeah. whatnot, so I love a nice, good five to 20 hour game not a game that i'll finish next year you know i want to play more <laughs> games i want to try and play these four thousand something games i've got oh, on a <laughs> you so, can't afford dude I, 500 I, hours times four thousand. i mean that's eternity so i mean you're not yeah gonna... eternal entertainment exactly till you're dead so <laughs> like yeah man like i just i can't get behind like i have a respect for rpgs but i just can't get behind turn-based i've tried it's just there's there's so much into it. I'm like I gotta look up a guide to play this. I can't. Yeah. Think of it. That's the kind of RPGs that really really 
stop me and they scare me. I'm like, okay, y'all can have it. I'm not playing it. But the other RPGs, I like it. That, I know it's a touchy I, I, subject for some people, but that's my yeah. that's my thought about it. Yeah, and I I am I'm I'm there for it, man. I'm there for it. I, I'm I I love just the open world. I I I think sometimes I was born in the wrong time frame. You know, like I wish I was a knight of old. You know, and just yeah, it, it would suck. I wouldn't be able to. Uh, you know, I'd be fending for food and things of that nature. But I just love the idea of it, especially like what motion pictures and video games have actually made it. It's kind of just a really cool idea. Um, but this is cool, man. I I don't know that I've ever put four hundred hours on a game though. Um, four five hundred hours. Uh, usually, most of my role playing games, I'm 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 in it about eighty to one hundred, and and then they're on the shelf and, and but 400 hours is quite a bit of time bj and what you're you're gradually growing up and so i can't wait for your george and see how many hours you have on that game so uh, just wait <laughs> so davy davy sh- share with us your link so that's for abraham lincoln everybody that's new to the show Link's number two, uh, most second most prominent behind somebody else, you know. But uh, yeah, where are we going? Okay, well, for this one, I'm gonna be going back to Xbox One. Here we go. So going a little bit back up the generations. I spent countless hours on this game when I was uh, it was like 2013, 15, whenever it came out. But I got my Xbox One. For Christmas that year and like this game was definitely a big one for me so I'd have to say Call of Duty Black Ops 3 mm-hmm. I've never played the campaign this is a controversial game because nobody I love that I love that nobody really enjoyed the campaign because this was the one where they got rid of like David Mason and all those important characters and stuff it's like oh you're just this generic cardboard cookie cutout character but i enjoyed the zombies this is like probably my favorite game to this day to play zombies on i have like hundreds of hours of this on xbox one i have all the dlc packs to play online with people on xbox one and i in addition i have a little group of friends that we play this still to this day uh there's a modding community on pc that has countless maps you can download for free. And I've played it for probably 200 something hours on PC. So it, like I said, it's the definitive zombies experience. The multiplayer is kind of trash, the, but I love the zombies. This is what keeps me going back is to play the zombies infected mode. I find it interesting that uh, you wanted an ending, but yeah, you've put 400 hours on a first person shooter game online with friends. But uh, yeah. I like call. I like Call of Duty. Um, it's a great franchise. I'm actually surprised. This is the very first time it's mentioned on our show. Uh, all the oh. times we've talked about video games, because it is a fantastic franchise. Um, it's Absolutely. starting to cut. Con- uh, well, let me just say this. With the newer generation, like my kids and, and the kids at my elementary school that I teach, um, Call of Duty is an old person game now, which is weird really? to me. Terrible, man. Because, you know, it's not Fortnite or it's not, you know, one of those. But uh, Call of Duty, to me, uh, took Halo and it advanced it even more uh, to, to get these games like Fortnite that they ha- they're playing right now. And, and, but Call of Duty was the original, like, let's log on and I'm going to, you know, jump in a room and play for hours with pizza and Mountain Dew. I'm on jacked up on Mountain Dew. I mean, like, I know I know tons of people that did this. I, again, going back to the first-person shooter, I'm not that. Now, look, I did show my bracelet. Um, I, I, this says called to duty because I am called to duty. And, and it's 2 Corinthians 10.4, which is uh, spiritual warfare, is that verse. And um, it's just to remind me that I'm continue like, I'm a geek, I'm a nerd, but I'm continuing to call to that community. And, and, and a lot of times, the reason I told, told you about the next generation of kids not really knowing. Um, everybody's like, well, Mr. P, do you play? Because they call me Mr. P as well. Mr. P, do you play Call of Duty? And I'm like, uh, I mean, I have played it in the past. 
He's like, man, uh, my dad plays that. That's that's really cool that you play that. My dad plays that. But uh, do you play Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> you know? No. And, uh, and so anyways, uh, yeah. one of the things is, you know, those kind of games, you get on those, you get on those mics. And if you're in the wrong room, man, uh, all, all some foul language, just things you can hear and all that. And so yeah. when these games were getting popular, I was getting saved, to be honest. And so I wasn't really kind of logging in and doing a whole lot of Xbox Live in rooms that people were barroom t- chatter, if you would. And so I hadn't really done a lot of this, um, but I admire it. Um, another game that I was kind of thinking of that are similar to this was like Splinter Cell. And I even mentioned Metal Gear Solid last week. Those games... Black Ops kind of stole from all of those. I say Black Ops, but Call of Duty and kind of just like brought it to a new. I remember having the first Call of Duty where uh, it was like um, your, your old musket rifles and stuff from like World War One and, and, and like Civil War and all back. So mm-hmm. Call of Duty, great franchise. Good pick. Um, I'm surprised it hasn't been mentioned already. I uh, there you go, man. Uncultured Swine. I know it's a huge franchise. I <laughs> I've never played Call of Duty. I never one time have played. It. So I don't know. Like I, I mean, I'm not gonna say I never played it. I'm just it, I just haven't I haven't had enough time on it to to really do it. But I have worn this bracelet for most of the last ten years. And surprise is not even busted. BJ, you a Call of Duty guy? Oh, my Xbox disclaimer: I do not hardly play any first person shooters now. Any. Which is crazy. Like, like I said, Halo Two was probably the last one I've ever played. Well, I, wow, I know about wow. the franchises. I just never partake in them. I, I, I get, dude, this is such a big one. I, I mean, I can't. Well, it's not surprising um, that you guys particularly haven't played this, but I'm very shocked that out of all the times we've talked about anything, this is the first time it's mentioned. So thanks for bringing that up, David. It is a good game. Now, look, I'm going to mention a game here, which nobody's going to have. I, I'm going to tell you, nobody's going to have this game. It's I have mentioned this game on this show, and um, I couldn't go have an Xbox without doing this. This is one of my favorite games in the Xbox world. It is another mature game. It is also another <laughs> first-person shooter-type game. Goodness. Um <laughs> which is crazy, which is one of the reasons. I'm just telling you, it's one of the reasons. But this game, I mentioned it when we talked about Biohazard and Resident Evil 4. This is the scariest game. I- I'm going to tell you, this is the scariest game I've ever played. Um, and it is called The Suffering. This game is so freaking cool. Now, look, uh, you can see the pictures up there. The guy's in an electric chair. This these two characters right here are ghosts. It's kind of like take 13 ghosts, the movie, put it in an old abandoned prison. Right. And the main character, his name's Torque. Right. And this is Torque here. This is you. Main character. And look, prison is hell. Gee whiz. And so this game is mind blowing. Right. The way they put the. Uh, rumble and things in the controller, the way the sound goes, and you're kind of creeping around this prison. It is so scary. I don't want to come around the like, like you're you're. Don't play this at night. Don't play it with the lights off. You will feel like these ghosts are creeping up behind you with this controller, kind of rumbling the music and everything. And you're, I mean, you're feeling it right. And uh, the cool thing is, is like. However, the guy, like if he was executed uh, by electric chair, the guy is going to be like an electric guy, the ghost. You know, if he was hung and drawn and quartered, he's he's ripped to shreds. If he's if he was put to death by uh, um, uh, lethal injection, he has like well, that's what this guy is. And as you can see, look at this guy right here. He's lethal injection. That's syringes in his eyeballs. Right. It is the freakiest game. But I can't get enough of it. I know I have not played this. I could probably, I could tell you this. I've played it probably twice since being saved. And it is worse than I thought before I was saved. I can tell you. Um, It is creepy. And um, I don't recommend it to anybody that is 
you know, I mean, yeah, if you get scared easy, don't play this game. And if, if you think it's demonic, yeah, probably so. And uh, I, I'm, I'm right there with you. But as far as putting a game together, just creatively um, fun, the elements that they put in, as I love Resident Evil type games, this game and, and, and Silent Hill and all those other scary games that I can possibly think of, bro, this one right here. Puts it puts them all down. I couldn't have the I I had it at Rosie and I bumped it up because I'm like, man, I love that game more than Borderlands and Halo. I, right now, I would go, rather go try and play that again before I played those two, and that's just it for me. So, uh, my link, man, I'm going with probably one that nobody else is going to have, and I want it that way because I love this game and I want to give it a little love. The suffering. Um, yeah. So you've mentioned this before. I've looked it up. This is the game I'm not playing. Like I think about it, because here's the thing, man. An Xbox is very much this way, and I know we mentioned games that are mature and are dark and things like that. Nintendo just always seems fun, man, and lighthearted. <laughs> That's what I love about it. I don't want to be terrified and play a game. I just don't want it. There's no part of me that says, you know what? Let's suffer a little bit here, pun intended. But like, yeah, I just I don't know, man. I get it. I, I get the lore. Like, if you're a horror fan, if you're like, I, I totally, I get that. And I'm not. And, and yeah, and I, I would have been back in the day, but like, I'm just so like, I've got girls. Like, I'm, you know, like family man. Like, this is just not. This is not happening. Even back in the day, it's like throw Madden on or throw or Mario. Like, let's just let's just have fun, you know. So that that was just where I was. So, but I can tell you this again. Only played it twice since then. Probably won't play it very often from here on out. It's just one of those ones that's pretty cool to talk about. But I just wanted to give it a little love because it, it's yeah. just, I like the creativity about it. But again, I, I don't watch horror movies anymore. Like, I, I just don't. Look, as a saved person, I understand what you let in your doors is is kind of what you can give the, the, the devil a foothold. I get that. Right. I get all those things as a pastor and a leader. I'm not recommending this to anybody for my rush more of Xbox games because it's all mature games anyways. And first person shooters. This one's better than the other ones, in my opinion, just because I have really fond memories and they're not necessarily fond as in like, yeah, I love them. But I remember a time like, for instance, Brindy was came in the room watching me play this. And like, like the, the thing rumbled and something screened and jumped out and she's like, what the heck? Like, it's just so fantastically done. And so I don't expect there to be a whole lot of chatter about it, but listen, if that's your thing and you like this, I have to make sure that you guys know about that one. That's an under, that's an undercard. I'm going back to my roots on the next one, by the way. Uh, Davey, uh, BJ, you, have you heard this game? Have you played it? What's, what's your thoughts? I actually have is like a buddy that gave me a, like a loose, well, that's what collectors call it, a loose copy, just the disc of the suffering for Xbox. So I do have it. I just haven't gotten around to playing it. I also have a manual for the sequel they made of the suffering. They made, I think, two games for that series, but I've never gotten around to playing it. Now that I hear that it's really scary. I'm not too sure if I will try it, but I, I probably <laughs> will because I always find myself playing stuff like Resident Evil 7 and stuff. So I'll, I'll probably end up giving it a try, you know. BJ, you played it? Uh, no, sir. Um, I believe anytime I walked in the store and saw the game, I'm like, what's the deal with that? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> nah, I don't know. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> but I mean, um, and th like I said, I mean, just looking at the cover of it, and you know, you know, you never judge a book by its cover, but that cover, I'm like, nah, mm, no, no, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, I figured um, I would I'd bring a little love to, to something different, but anyways, uh, go ahead, go ahead, Andy, and uh, let's get to George, man. Let's, what's, what's your last link? Here we go, Link. Uh, I am crush more. I'm gonna crush more. It's the suffering. No, I'm just kidding. It's not. I am crush more though with Kirk, and I'm gonna go with the original Halo. Halo combat of all. Hello. This is if if you're just going to Google what's the best Xbox game of all time, the majority are gonna have this number one, number two. I mean, it's gonna be right there. So there's no argument. I think. 
in a general sense that this has to be mentioned. Um, you said Halo 2 before. I didn't play it as much. I will say this. I am a huge, 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 huge fan of multiplayer games. And I remember going to my friend's house again and his younger brother had the Xbox and we played Halo and this being a game that we would just play for hours. Um, getting in the tanks, man. You know, what's the what's the laser sword thing that was like one one hit and they're dead, basically. It was the golden gun of, uh, of Halo, right? Um, yeah. Uh, plasma sword. Plasma sword. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I love that. To be honest, I didn't I didn't play as much of the story mode back then because it was I was this is my personality. I am very much a people person. Get together. Let's have a party. Let's hang out. Let's have fun. And I I, I just wanted to go play multiplayer with, with friends or like if it was like a sports game, I'd want to play against somebody. If it was you know, what I mean, like I was very much like, let's interact together. Let's be together. Let's do that. So. Halo was right up there, man. I played this so much. I remember there was a there was a level, there was like a multiplayer level where it was like two, it was like a spaceship that was cut in half and there was like space in the middle of it. Or maybe it was, I don't even remember. It was like something crazy. And there was just there was like portals you can go through to get to the other side. Dude, anyway, this game was so cool. Um, so much fun. I was never, um, I started off like I had no idea because here's the thing we, we we talked about this in the beginning and we didn't really touch on it much I was never a huge fan of the Xbox controller and, and maybe it's, it, it's not because it's not good or whatever like I literally just wasn't used to it not having it um, PlayStation definitely used to that style of controller um, we were talking about controllers in the N64 that I got, like they, they didn't do a great controller, but you know, Hey, I'm, you just got used to it. Uh, I don't know. So maybe if I had an Xbox, I'd have been more used to it and I gotten better at it. But, um, but yeah, man, this game right here, countless, countless times spent over at their house playing this game, yelling at people not to look at my screen or, you know, then we, then you connect the cables and you can play on different TVs. We did that at one point, this is early on and everything. And that was a cool, you know, innovation that happened with that. But yeah, man, Halo, I, I, we've, we've talked about it plenty, um, but this is definitely one of the, this is on the Rushmore of Xbox. I would not feel right if we didn't talk about this one today. So my Crushmore, my link, Halo, the original one for Xbox back in what, 2002, no. 2000 and whatever. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, crush more. I love it, dude. It's uh, we've already talked so much about Master Chief. What can we say more? He's fantastic. He's the he's the, the face of the franchise of Xbox. Um, I'd be shocked if if you know it wouldn't have been mentioned or crushed in any f- form or fashion. So, um, kind of kind of shocked to be honest that uh, uh, it it's been mentioned three times already because I would. Think Think that this might be some Georgia's, even maybe in the comments. So tell us how much you guys love Halo down below. Back and forth. But, back uh, and forth. When my George yeah. is a little bit more personal to me, but right, 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 right. Uh, but it, it was it could have gone either way, easily. Yeah. So we've already talked a little bit about Halo. So let's jump into our George, right? Let's I'm go to George. Already there. And uh BJ, bro, finish off your mountain. What you got? All right, my George uh, was made on the 360, went to the Xbox One, had a remaster. The original game came out in 2007 on the Xbox. It was originally made for Microsoft Studios. Then BioWare and EA got it, and they transitioned, made it on the PlayStation in 2008. This game here was made in 2021. I'm going with Mass Effect, the Legendary Edition. And this is all three of the games. Uh, Fun fact, I had a goal for this game. There's six classes. I made a character for each class and carried them all to each game. Out of 127 achievements, I got 124. And 
I want you guys to guess what my gaming hours on this. So, Mind you, it's three games. Three, three games. So we're combining all three. Combining all three. You're at 1,100. 1,200. I was literally thinking 1,200. Where, where are you at, Dave? 900 hours. He lowballed us. So Lowball. All right. Total gaming hours. 1,290 gaming hours. I was right between there. The, nice. The, between the three games. What? <laughs> and uh, that's fun fact, a problem. <laughs> Freddie Prince Jr. also did another character on this game, too. Fun, fun fact. Fun fact. One thousand. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Where do you find the time? To yeah. play that that's, what that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Wait, okay. wait. Right. Uh, 1,200 hours. Let's say you did eight in a day. Eight goes into 1,200 how many times? 150? 150 days of eight hours of play? Is that what we're doing? Is that is that it? Holy moly. No, you you know I got to I gotta sell honey. I got to sell honey. I got <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make money to buy the figures, so you know <laughs> I got I gotta go to work. I had the original, so I saw your shirt. Kind of figuring you were gonna give this away. I had the original Mass Effect for the 360 um, game. Uh, it's one of the first games I purchased for the 360. Um, I liked it because it was um, it was a role playing style game, kind of in the future space sci-fi kind of reminded me of elements of um uh like xeno saga and some of those games that i played but yet um more on a uh open world halo type feel um and it was a cool game i loved it i i got i i put many many hours on this game nowhere near 1200 i would say maybe 80 70 80 um i never beat the game it was fantastic i remember when part two came out i wanted to purchase it um it, i was kind of on that that track i did not i never played two or three or any of the other iterations that may be out there it is a really cool game uh cool franchise i totally recommend anybody that loves those style games this is a good one this is a good one it, it's actually on my Benjamins. The only reason I didn't pick it is it's one of the games that I think I sold uh, um, or got sold. Um, so I don't own it anymore. But it's a great it's a great franchise. I don't know enough about this game. I mean, I'm literally Googling these games as you guys are telling them. And I, I, I know I've heard the name of this one, but yeah. Bum, 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 bum. No, I know. I know. Uh, and, and another fun fact was when they originally created the game it was supposed to be like a star wars title but that got scrapped and it became mass effect yeah it, it does it does kind of play like a star wars game too yep yeah i would see that kind of going from like planet to planet and things of that nature kind of in in spaceships sometimes not yeah it's pretty cool man i like i like this game david what you know about it you gotta know, I know that about it's. This one. Uh, I know it's a trilogy. <laughs> yeah. I know that I have yeah. every game in the series. I just, <laughs> I, I have actually never gotten the chance to sit down and play Mass Effect, but I've, I've heard nothing but great things about the series. Yeah, as we can learn, Davey is more pro Andy BJ. So you know, he likes Andy style games. So oh, I get yeah, it. I get it. <laughs> well, when you have four thousand games, it's understandable that you you haven't had a chance to get to it. But I had like, I'll give and, a little fact about me. Like, so back to what you said earlier, uh, Kirk. So I do like a game that's like a quick start to finish, but at the same time, I like a fun little party game. That's why I like Black Ops Zombies so much. Uh, it's something that can keep going on forever. Oh, I died. Now I can go to sleep. You know, I got to a certain round. Okay, I'm done. Just same thing. I love Mario Kart. That's what I grew up with for years. And I, I have every game in the series. That's something I love to pick up and play once a week. So it's just I like little fun pick up and plays, you know, but I also so, like 20-hour stories. So. <laughs> hey, hey, so let me ask you a question, David. Do you like Toy Story 2? 
Do you also yeah. like Toy Story? Of course you do, right? You got Absolutely. a friend in me. That's what I'm hearing from Andy right now. Dave, you got a friend in me. <laughs> As we go on here, I love this. Toy There's Story a game 2 is actually a very good N64 game. The Toy Story game for N64 was a lot of fun. But anyway, oh, yeah. I digress. Mass Effect, there we go. With the eighteen thousand hours you've spent on it, let's go to let's go to Davey, man. What, what's what is your George? Honestly, my George is kind of like in a way a giveaway. It's a series I've been talking about for a while today, and maybe mentioned it earlier as a different title in the series. So we're going back to Xbox three hundred and sixty. 2012 to that like era 2013 that was some amazing times for me was like being an xbox parties talking with friends playing and engaging in this game meeting new friends through this game and while there was some inappropriate banter here and there the very wholesome parts of it were the best and there's not very often you can say a game is perfect and I feel like this was like the definitive game in this series. All right. And with that, I'm going to just go out and give my George. My George would be Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for the <laughs> Xbox 360. I just, <laughs> I've put hundreds of hours into this game. I just, the campaign is magnificent from start to finish. The story is so good. The multiplayer maps, I've never seen more iconic maps in a Call of Duty game. You got the ship that you go on. There's like a warehouse that's super fun. There's like a whole little city that looks like, I guess, a little Russian village. That's really fun to do like team deathmatch on. But I really like mostly, once again, the, the zombies on this game. And it had like some of the best maps that you'd ever see in the series. They had one that was mob of the dead and it had like you know little italian mob bosses and i just thought that was so fun i'm an italian american so seeing that representation in a game was just it was it, i could go on for hours about this game but that's that's basically my george like it's just so much fun it's like i could go back and still play it right now that's just how fun it is i um yeah so I, again i haven't i haven't watched or played this call of duty games but normally when i hear one it's it's black ops I, i've always heard that before but this is a funny side note this is nothing to do with the game other than it was a meme that i saw before and i'm going to show it to you guys but i'll plug it in i'll put it on there have you guys seen the carl of duty black cops <laughs> <laughs> They have a custom case for that that you can order on eBay. Somebody oh. makes custom cases for that. So that's my, <laughs> that's really, that's all I know. I remember for some reason, somewhere along the line, I came across that meme and it was just, it's what I think of when I think, every time I hear black ops, that's all I can hear yes, <laughs> when they say it now. But uh, anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's unfortunately, that's really all I have to add to this game. But uh, I will respect any game, man, that you're going to put that much time into. Obviously, there's a reason for that. We said it before. There's a reason Call of Duty is the franchise that it is. Yeah. I just don't know what that reason is. But I know there is a reason. Dude, that is a hilarious meme. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, it's iconic. I mean, it, it's not surprising. Um now that it's gotten some more love, it's it's worth it's worth playing. It's a great game, uh, it's a great franchise. I I just it's not in my it's not in my uh, ballpark of things that I'm going to pick up and play very often. BJ, my pleasure. We already know your response. You you haven't <laughs> played first person shooters since Halo Two. Yes, uh, <laughs> this <trainer> game. <laughs> first <-person shooter. laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, look, my turn, and this is not going to be a shocker. It might be a shocker to some, some of y'all because uh, it is um, it, it, it's Xbox, right? But Xbox, uh, it took them a while, but they finally got on the bandwagon and they decide to jump in to some good old Final Fantasy 13, baby. And there it is. Final Fantasy 13. Now, look, I don't know how many hours I have on this, BJ. It sure as heck ain't 1,200. 
Um, but I, 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 I wish I had the time to play 1200 hours of this. Um, this is a different style. Final Fantasy always has a new story. They don't, um, for friends out there that play uh, games, right? Just because it's a sequel doesn't mean they match up with the ones beforehand. It, it, it's, it's just another really awesome, that style game from Square Enix, right? They're very, very little character lines and and things like that that cross over unless you do like what i mentioned last week with x x2 right and there are two or three games that kind of follow this one that follows the story now the the main character is 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 this character right here lightning and lightning has a gun blade it's a gun and a sword all at the same time which is really cool one of the things i love about this is the animations the storylines the 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 cinematic graphics of uh, the summons. Um, I have my uh, strat guide right here, um, the maps. And, and again, I know what Andy's going to say about these type of things, but I mean, this is gameplay. I mean, that's just fantastic. And, and it, it, it is what it is. Um, if it's not your thing, if it's not your thing, it is, I understand but Final Fantasy to me is what I want to do. And look, Final Fantasy, see, here's the thing. Video gaming for me, I love playing with other friends. Like, that's why I have a Wii, you know, a Wii tennis and all that stuff. I love uh, back in the day having friends over and play. But there is also a time because I am, you wouldn't really tell because I'm, now this is episode 77, right? Lucky 77 or 78. Mm-hmm. This is 78. 78 man see they, they're all going so fast 78 episodes i've been doing this with you guys you kind of think some that i wasn't like very introverted but i am and i love to sit down by myself and play video games there's times where I, my kids all go to bed right and i'll come and sit right here and just play some games for a little bit before i wind down to go to sleep and yeah it might take me years to play these games but i it's not the only game I'm usually playing. That's a game that I'll play and then I'll go play something like, uh, you know, Mario Kart or whatever and kind of just have a little bit of quick fun. But I love the immersive storylines. One, I don't like to read. I really, honestly, this is where I got most of my reading in as a kid was reading video games. Like you read the stories and follow. I just love this stuff, man. And I know, I know what most everybody's going to say, but, uh, yeah, I had to have it on here. It's the one Final Fantasy I have on Xbox, and because I don't really live in the Xbox world, but this one, this one was fantastic. And it, it, it's different for Final Fantasy fans. Most of them don't like this one. It went a different path, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm still, a, I'm still a homer a little bit, man. I love it. Anybody who's been a fan of the Rushmore show long enough um, is not shocked by this. <laughs> Bro, I think I think when we talked about New Orleans food, somehow you tied in Final Fantasy. I don't know, like, <laughs> brought up. like, <laughs> is, there, is there a cat in this game that no. you mentioned in pop culture? No, cat? wait, uh, you Sean, your your cohort, uh, Davey, Sean, he's a big collector of Final Fantasy games, right? Bruce Art, right, and he's going to be at the show, right? Uh, yeah, he's going to be a vendor. Uh, I'll be honest, we. We go into a lot of like debacles on what series are the best because like every week it's something a Final Fantasy. That's why I thought it was funny when Andy just said about the the one because I feel like I'd be like, "What's your favorite serial, Sean?" Oh, Final Fantasy. <laughs> like well, every I, week it's I, a Final I, Fantasy thing. <laughs> I picked up. I picked yeah, on that. Him. I picked up on that on some of your postings, and he'd write yeah. something about, "Hey, look at that Final Fantasy game." I was like, "Oh, I think one time we, he we posted like on, you know yeah. all of his Final Fantasy stuff," and I was like, "Oh, somebody else that likes this more than I do, maybe." Yeah, definitely hit him up if you want to like have chats about. He loves Final Fantasy, uh, but we, we we poke fun. It's all in good fun. Like sometimes it would be like, "Oh, you're that little Mario Kart boy." I'm like, "Yeah, you little, little Final Fantasy man," you know? So like, <laughs> oh yeah, but yeah, man, he, he's. I'm not, it's not personally, and this is like, I'm more of like leaning with Andrew with it. I just, like I said, I'm not a big role playing game, turn based person. I've played the sequel, sequel to this game, 13 2 or whatever it's called. Yeah. Uh, not knowing what a Final Fantasy game was at all. And I didn't even know it was the second part of a game that was already out, you know, 13. 
and it just throws you in and i was like what is this oh this is so confusing they got so many rules and so many I, the story <laughs> seemed cool but i'm like who are these characters because i didn't again i didn't know it was a part two to already an existing game and the i just i wish i could understand it because i would gladly play them and expand my origin but it's just i don't understand the games i just don't they don't resonate yeah. with me <laughs> bj you 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 a final fantasy guy i know you're a role-playing guy uh tell you the truth i just got into final fantasy not too long ago but even with the the company square enix like between final fantasy and i'm about to name drop um kingdom hearts uh those games visual effects and special effects uh special secret of mana chrono trigger xeno yeah, saga they, they, uh, they always been over the top or, right, anyways, or we, we now we now lost andy and Davey. yeah he's gone that's a nerding out over here or over something. Just, <laughs> the, 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 right. the, the vessel, the body is here, but the soul like left the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. So, Andy, what's your George, dude? What's your George? The number one. I, I want, I'm wondering if I'm holding it right here. I'm wondering if I'm holding it right here. I don't know if you are. Uh, here's the thing. The number one game for the Xbox. I, I said this. I want to play with friends. I want to have fun. This game, for all the darkness of a lot of these Xbox games and mature ratings of all of these Xbox games, this game is the ultimate of fun. And 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 there could be two oh. to talk about here, but there's one specific for a specific reason. My George, my number one, I played this so many times. When I was sober, when I was not, um, there was just a lot of fun. And that's that's back in the day. But uh, my number one, Rock Band. Rock Band is my number one. Now, here's why Rock Band over Guitar Hero. And I'm a drummer. So when I th- we played this with the drum kit for so long, my friend Brett, again in the band, had this game. I loved this game. This is like... This is like a Nintendo type game. I mean, and it's out on the Wii. It's out on the, you know, it's on different things. So, like, we get it. It's, it's multi console and everything. But, dude, set list here. Are You Going to Be My Girl by Jet? Ballroom Blitz, Black Hole Sun, Blitz Creek, Black Bob, Hole Sun, Mini California, Dead on Arrival, Detroit Rock City, Don't Fear the Reaper, Inner Sandman. Uh, oh, Little Shelter, Cowbell. Uh, big, 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 big. big. So many amazing in bloom, learn to fly, uh, maps, orange crush. Dude, I'm just going through this. Say it ain't so. Like, so I think about Say it ain't so. Vaseline Vaseline by the Stone Temple Pilots. Welcome home by Coheed and Cambria. Anyway, I I, did that. Welcome home by Coheed and Cambria is on that. Yeah, dude. These wow ones are. So good. There's there's bonus songs that you get on here. There's so many <clears throat> amazing things. Here's the thing. I had so much fun playing this. We played this so many hours. I, I don't know if you log hours. I don't know how that, but I, I I played this so many times. Now, I've mentioned this. The funny thing is, um, as a drummer, now it's crazy to think I've been playing drums for 20 years now. Um, as a drummer, even at that time, I could only play expert mode and that's not me like humble brag, but it's because <clears throat> when you play like easy mode, it doesn't even play like drums. Like you're not like, I want to play what I feel like the drummer should is playing. Right. So expert was the only way that I could actually like tag along with that. But dude, even the other things, man, playing the guitar, just having all of the fun and that stuff, the animation, it's super, super fun. It is bring your friends over. We, we got four of us together. We're going to have a whole band we're going to rock this thing. We're going it, to, it's just hours of fun, man. Rock band. Now, again, I could say Guitar Hero, you know, that's a, it, in all rights. That is a great game, too. To me, you can go one way or the other. This is just the one that my one way my, or another. Yeah. Um, this, is just, <laughs> this is the one that my friend had. This is the one that I played um, mostly. So, my George, my number one, 
if I want to have a ton of fun playing the Xbox, it's definitely going to be on Rock Band. Hey, I'm gonna uh, just let me jump in here. I am. I I thought it might be back there when you're talking about that. Uh, thought it might be this one. You might say this one. You're this might have been the game you took out. I, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, but I am kind of uncultured swine when it comes to Rock Band compared to Guitar Hero. I've had two different Guitar Hero games. Never had a rock band game, um, but I understand the concept. They're all they're freaking phenomenal party games. These are the type of games I would love to play with friends. Problem is, my wife hates these games um, mm-hmm. just because she's she's not she's terrible at them. She's not a, she does she doesn't like music as far as like playing it, and so she'll watch, but after a while she'll get bored with it. But like back in the day, we used to have people come over for like the Wii, and we play Wii sports and then after my wife and whoever else's wife got tired of playing we went to playing rock uh to guitar hero and that's it's such a fun time and dylan mentioned it last week um these are fun games to play with friends man um cool cool i'll I'll just go back and say if the rock band guitar is similar to the guitar hero guitar i just can't do it i just cannot my left hand doesn't work like that. And I don't know. I'm just not very good at it. Um, but, man, I would say great pick, especially from you. I, I can uh, – it makes sense. What I like specifically about Rock Band is that it extended – because Guitar Hero was obviously guitar-focused, right? Like that was the main draw, and it's super fun. Rock Band just expanded on it with the you – know, you have the drums, but you also have the microphone. And singing and like match, trying to match the pitches and do like the different things with singing was super fun. Um, you don't even have to be good singing it. Like it just is like so much fun. You can't play this and not die laughing, just having a blast. So this is ultimate team fun for me. Now, now, Davey, I saw you had the guitar. You're rocking the, the guitar there. You you a fan of this this franchise? I've played a lot of the Guitar Hero arcade stuff at, you know, arcades and whatnot. And then recently I've been trying to slowly acquire the guitars. Like I got this for five bucks from somebody, 10 bucks for two guitars the other day, one for the Wii, one for 360. So now I'm trying to start getting into it. But Rock Band, I actually played it, I think, once for a family gathering and then you know, this goes back to playing something at someone else's house so i got to experience it through someone else's hardware but it was fun like they had the whole drum set out i got to try it and bang a few notes out on it i think it's a phenomenal pick and i just as a sub like uh topic i wanted to say i like that we're doing xbox now more than ever because i think it's cool how all four of us have had all such different and diverse opinions about what they like about Xbox. I think it's so cool. We've all had something different to bring to the table. And I really think that choice is excellent because I love music games. I love rhythm games. Mm-hmm. That's that's a great that's a great series. Well, I mean, he's a he's a great musician too, Davey. So he, he's a great drummer. But uh, he won't admit it. But he's really awesome for being self-taught most of it too. Uh, yeah, pretty pretty cool. I, I applaud this. BJ, uh, rock band, where you at? Never played it, uh, but I actually while in Korea uh, was over some friends' house and they were playing it, and we were partaking in drinks, so it made it that much fun. <laughs> just even watching yeah. them just playing it. Just you know, it, it's a good game. It's a good game, especially um, you know, a good icebreaker and everything else. Everybody's having a good time, and I mean, so I don't know if you're watching it right now, but Brett, that's two games: Injustice in this game that I specifically remember playing at your apartment way back in the like 2009, 2008. I don't know, something like that. So yeah, it's been a while, but so, yeah. so who's that? Brett Charlet, he former guitarist of a band. Uh, he's in the band with me and Dennis. So he was nice, nice. All right, well, Brett, man, hopefully you see this, man. Come, come join us, man. So we're done. We are done. Davy, bro, thanks for coming on the show. Be- oh wait, we're not done yet. We're not, not done. Yet. There's a couple. We're not more. done. 
I'm just playing. Hey, everybody knows we're not done. We got one more segment. This one's fast, though. It's kind of like a fast lightning round. Um, and we are going to do what we call All About the Benjamins because there are so many other great Xbox games that we're going to get a little bit of mention. Now, uh, for anybody that hasn't been around, stick around to check out 16 more. We're all going to give four more. It's fast, so it won't be long. And uh, find out what we got coming up next month at the end of this. But let's get ready for all about the Benjamins. Let's get it. Come on. Welcome back to the Rushmore Show. It is time for all about our Benjamins, where we just give you just a little bit more. So here we go. BJ, you're up. What is the one video game that you want to tell our audience about that got left off the mountain? Like it's waiting to get there. And uh, remember, Nobody can crush here, so if you've got a game that you think somebody else might have waiting in their list, you might want to take it now. Uh, Skylanders Imaginators. It's a good family game, and they made six games out of it. So I've actually got another kid-friendly one I want to mention, and it's now on like almost every single console, but I feel like it resonates and was started with Xbox 360, and that would be Minecraft for Xbox 360 edition. A lot of people started it there. It was on PC. Wow. It was an Xbox console exclusive until it got to PS3 and whatnot, and I just, I feel like it's a really important impact, that version, because me and my friends played it for years. All right, so I'm gonna jump in. Andy's not gonna pick probably any of these games, so. Um, I'm going to go with the one that I played most recently. I'm, I'm actually just started it up. It's the first game I started playing on the Xbox um, 360. Now that I got a new one from St. Tammany Pledge Talk. Oh, and I got it from Thrift Poppy, by the way. Who, yeah, yeah, yeah. Way to go, Thrift He's going to be at hey, the RetroCon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's who I purchased it from. Anyways, I'm going with Darksiders. Man, I love this game. It's a fun game. Uh, it is basically the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and the apocalypse happened without... Well, yeah, you'll have to play it, but it's about, it's about the horsemen. So we'll get two here. Um, yeah, let, let me do it. Um, I'll just do the one that did get pulled off, and I'll tell you why. Uh, just because we've mentioned this franchise before, but I'm going to go with Madden 2011 specifically because... Drew Brees is on the cover. I got to do it. I had to do it. The 9 11. Drew Brees! Yes, All right. But let me go. Let me go now. Now that I got that one out of the way, I do want to go with one that I was ticked off because Gafar took this from me on GameCube. And I'm glad I get to mention it here. I love this game. Uh, but it was also on the Xbox Time Splitters. Time Splitters was a super Time Splitters. Nice. All right. Well, I'm going to go with my next game. Um, possibly you you guys might take one of these two games. I'm going to flip a coin and, and I'll go with this one. Gears of War. Another first person shooter type game, but uh, phenomenal game. It's one of those classics from the Xbox. I want to give light to a series that nobody's talked about tonight. It's another family game. There is Monopoly for Xbox 360, and that one's Whoa. actually really fun. Like, me and my family have played it before. It's a good, like, gathering game. All right. First one is, I got 46 out of 46 achievements on there, 686 gaming hours, Anthem. Anthem. Nice Anthem. pick. Anthem. My next one. All right, you get one more. 216 hours. Saints Row the third. Oh, okay. Saints Row. Great, great yeah. franchise. Good pick, good pick, good pick. So I, I didn't get to mention it earlier. I mean, I did mention it, but I didn't pick it. I really love Skyrim, so I would probably have to say skyrim on xbox 360 i just that's the version i love the most i really love it it's fun so i'm gonna go with another popular one man um and this is another mature another first person shooter i'm going doom three buddy there it is man yep much better than the rock movie by the way but uh yeah debatable uh, uh <laughs> debatable <laughs> 
Uh, all right. Andy, well, you're up, man. I, I, Andy, Andy, I'm, I've been holding this game waiting to show it for you. I, I mean, I know I'm you've I'm going to pick it. I don't know if I'm going to pick you it. You need to pick this game. <laughs> I really don't think I'm going to. Um, yeah, anyway, it may be because it's, it's on here, but I don't want to go here. Uh, I'm going to pick the Godfather. The Godfather uh, video game was super fun. Very much like... Um, Grand Theft Auto, but just The Godfather, right? That's pretty much what you were doing in this game. So The Godfather, and then my final one, I played this a lot, man. Uh, Let's not, did did we mention a wrestling game yet? Let's go ahead and do it. I'm going- Oh, you're killing me. SmackDown versus Raw 2007. They've had a lot that have come out, but that's the one that I specifically played. Uh, Triple H, you know, on the cover. Yeah, just, 07, 07, SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. That's my Benjamins, man. Uh, all right, I'm going to go with the, the one I probably played the most out of these three. And I've already mentioned these uh, two out of these three have already been mentioned, or two out of these four have already been mentioned on our show before. One of them, the one I think you should mention. But the one, uh, this is one of them that's been mentioned, not this version. Blitz 2002, baby. Uh, look at look at that right there, bro. That uh, bro, this game is so much fun. You talk about having fun with friends. You don't have to be good at this game. It's just about beating the crud out of each other. I think this actually might be the first T for Teen rated game of the night. But I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Like y'all mentioned Star Wars earlier. I can't believe we never talked about this game. But man, I just absolutely love Star Wars: The Force Unleashed. On Xbox. Oh, I got that one. I got that one. Such a great game. That game is awesome. DJ, you get every single Xbox game in history left that has not been mentioned today. What's mystery irrelevant? What's the last Benjamin on your list? 58 out of 59 achievements, three playthroughs. <laughs> I'm level 127, 250 hours of gameplay. And a sequel is coming in the future, Dragon's Dog. Oh, wow. Okay. (laughs) BJ, dude, you have here's you have blown me away with the amount of hours. Do this for me. When later, can you tally up all of the hours of all of the games you mentioned today and send that? Because that's interesting. Rushmore show is finished. Look, Xbox has been a great time. Davey, thanks for coming and hanging out with us. BJ, for your third time, welcome back. Everybody, right now, stop what you're doing. Go to TikTok, BabyOx78. 78. 78. Go Baby find 78. him. Follow him. He is a, a, a toy collecting connoisseur. He's got your job. Look, right up there is my Princess Bride uh, that he sent me. Dude, uh, thank you so much for being a part of this. Um, And again, if you're still here, go check out Dave's Gaming Galaxy, the Louisiana trading, video game trading uh, spots on Facebook. There's so many things that that Davey Lusco is doing right now in the video game space, especially in Louisiana. And don't forget – oh, let me turn it upside down. Don't forget to get here. Get here. September 9th. Be here. If you're in the Louisiana area, come and see us. Dylan's already said he's going to be there. Anybody that is going to be in that area, come and visit us. Come support us. Come support Davey and what they're doing. Come and purchase you a video game or two. Uh, I I know what kind of things I'm looking out for. Maybe a Skyrim, a new GameCube, uh, or I need a new Wii too, man. But anyways, uh, Andy, let's finish this show off, man. Tell tell everybody goodbye. Any last comments about what's going on? I have my running list of N64 games that I have yet to purchase, so I'm hoping that. Oh, you made a list. Oh, I, I've been. This working- sounds like. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, and by the way, congratulations, Gafar, on becoming a girl dad. What, 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 what? Gafar? Hey, uh, we see you, man. We see you. And uh, speaking of Girl Dad, go check out Girl Dad, which is Andy's other YouTube channel. And uh, Andy, that'd be a great YouTube, uh, YouTube video as your N64 chase. But uh, I digress. Andy, um, oh, by the way, Pac-Man's on because Retro Cannon's coming out with a Pac-Man issue. Go check out that episode very soon. Andy, 
tell everybody good night. Well, we're going to end it like we always do. This is the Rushmore Show, where it's all about your top four. Top four. And, and nothing more. more. Peace. Peace. Peace.